Hey everyone, Dave here with Beast Made Reviews, of course, the channel dedicated to reviewing quality. Today we're going to do another workshop review by Taylor Stitch. The last video was pretty well received by you guys, so I want to do this again. Uh, Taylor Stitch has sent me some a uh, few things in this current workshop, so I'm really excited uh, to review this here. In short, I love Taylor Stitch. They have a really great quality. I love their fit. I love a lot of the fabrics. Their workshop is kind of like a crowdfunded pre-sale type of thing that they have. I have links down below to Taylor Stitch. One of them is a referral code that gives you some money off your first purchase. And then I have another referral link that if you've already purchased with Taylor Stitch and you just want to go through that referral link, it will help me out. I really appreciate it. So I'll have those links down below. All right, lots of great things in the workshop. I'm really excited about this one right now. Uh, now the first one we've already talked about and that is the Kuyama jacket. This Kuyama jacket, really great leather jacket. I love this. I love their whiskey color. And this one, you're saving $200 off the final price here. I think that's a great deal. Their jackets are really great. Their leather jackets are fantastic. Kind of reminds me of the Himmel Brothers jacket that Karl Morawski likes to talk about in kind of that, a similar type of style. Really, really great. So love that a lot. If you're looking for a jacket like this, or if you're looking for maybe a Himmel Brothers style jacket, but you don't want to spend the money, for a jacket like that. I think this is a great option. I did this one in my last review of the workshop, so I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail here. All right, now let's go to this next one real quick. This one is the Camp Pant. Uh, now the Camp Pant is part of a, a collection of uh, pants that are similar dimensions. That is the Camp Pant and then the Chore Pant. These pants are a little bit different fit than their normal style pants. If you're looking for the chinos or their um, denim, it's a different fit. So this one is a little bit more relaxed. And of course, as you can see, uh, this one is an indigo corduroy, uh, which is very interesting. They have a great indigo. I think it looks great. A uh, corduroy is pretty thick and it's pretty warm. So this is really good for, uh, of course, cooler weather. $98, saving about $30 off the price there. I think that's a really good uh, value that you're getting here. Uh, nine ounce, 100% organic cotton corduroy with indigo. Now, of course, with indigo, you're going to get natural fades like uh, denim. If you don't like the fades and you just want to keep it that really dark color, there's a particular solution. I think it's a salt solution that you can soak these in and it will actually lock the indigo in place and uh, keep that from, from fading. I can understand both camps. Some people like the fades, some people don't. With this, I don't know what I would feel like with, with the indigo corduroy wearing like this, but I still think they're very interesting. I think they look great. Now the, these of course have a more relaxed fit than their normal jeans and pants. I'll show some B-roll footage of me with the chore pants. Very different. The chore pants are embossed duck and of course they're chore pants so they have a little bit of extra pockets and things like that, but very similar fit nonetheless. So you can see at least what it looks like on me. And I wear, I believe a 31 in them and they fit pretty well. They're a little bit more relaxed in the thigh. All right, next on the list is this, and I think this is really cool. This is the little Yosemite shirt. And of course, as you can see, this is for children. And I'm of a mixed opinion on this, but I still think it's really cool. So one side, I think this is really neat because I love having quality clothing. And I love having the option of getting quality clothing for my kids. And I'm definitely getting one of these for my son. I don't have a sample on hand, so whenever I get one, I will show that to you guys to, to show you what it looks like. But you can see some pictures here of uh, this guy right here. It looks great on him. Uh, so yeah, I love the fact that you can get this for kids now. $48, more expensive than I usually pay for clothes with my kids, but that's still not a lot of money. So it could be like a special occasion shirt. The other mind that I have about this is the fact that I don't know about getting high quality clothes for my kids because they're gonna grow out of it so fast. They're not gonna wear this for more than maybe two years max. I'm going to get this in like a size larger than what my son is wearing now. So at least he can wear this for two years, have have one year be a little bit large and one year uh, be maybe maybe fit, maybe a little bit short, we'll see. That being said, I think this looks fantastic. And they have this in a few different colors. Um, as you can see, they have this one in the deep ocean, which I think looks great. Nice blue-green color. They have it in the tobacco, and then they have it in the oat donegal. Love that oat donegal. All these colors are really great. The Yosemite shirts, I think, are fantastic because they have a really soft feel to them. They're made of a uh, flannel chamois 
I think that's how you pronounce it. If you're familiar with the commercial sham wow, um, it's a similar type of material. So I'm sure these are highly absorbent. <laughs> uh, nine ounce, 100% organic cotton flannel chamois. I love the cut of these. They look really great. They have the open collar. I love the pockets on these. Pockets are usable, but they're not uh, too big. And I love that they're offering this in a few different colors for the kids. I think that's really cool. Probably my favorite color here is the deep ocean. I like the tobacco as well. And then the uh, Oat Donegal, probably my, sec my second favorite there. I really like that Donegal pattern. I guess I'm just a fan of Donegal in general. <laughs> but of course, not to be outdone, they have it for adults too. They have the Yosemite shirt and adults with the same colors. So they have Deep Ocean, Tobacco, and Oat Donegal. And I believe for the adults, it's the same ounce weight uh, fabric. Yeah, nine ounce, 100% organic cotton flannel chamois. Chamois, not chamois. And these look fantastic. I'll show you some B-roll footage of me in uh, one of the new Yosemite shirts. I have uh, this tobacco one. I think this is a great shirt because it has a lot of different uh, utility to wear as maybe an over shirt or uh, like an extra layer. Uh, you can wear this as your regular shirt. You can wear this as like a flannel. And as you can see, it looks great just as a regular shirt. It's uh, very thick and very warm, very, very soft. And I really like that a lot. This is one of their more popular shirts that they have. And they say they have like this uh, cult of Yosemite shirt wearing people. And I can totally see that. I think it's one of their best products that they have. It's fantastic. Of course, the fit is always perfect. And yeah, I just really, really love these Yosemite shirts a lot. All right, and next we have two more camp pants in the workshop, two different colors, and they're both in wool. And the first one is Heather Gray wool. Heather Gray wool, which I think looks so good. That looks really comfortable too. It kind of is in between this casual and um, smart casual or like business type of look. I think this is a little bit more on the casual side, but because of the wool, it almost adds like this dressy quality to it. Look at that, that just looks so cool. 10 ounce, 80% uh, wool, 20% unknown reclaimed fibers. I don't know what the unknown reclaimed fibers are, but that's really neat. Maybe they're looking in someone's dryer or something, I'm not really sure. The Heather Gray looks fantastic, I love that. And then this dark moss looks fantastic as well. These are probably super warm, and I am really interested to see what these look like. I think those are pretty cool. Of course, these have the same fit and dimensions as the chore pant. I uh, really like that. It has a button fly right there. I like that a lot. I think that's really great. Look at that coloration. Wow, that is so cool. All right, next we have two crater shirts. Man, they're just killing it. I mean, I love these. These crater shirts are great, great flannels. And they have two different colorations of these, these crater shirts. The first one is in blue plaid, and then the second one is in tan plaid. Um, these flannel shirts are super, super soft. One of the softest flannels um, I've experienced. They're nine ounce, 100% brushed organic cotton twill flannel, uh, custom developed for tailor stitch. So that makes sense. Uh, heavily brushed interior and exterior. Okay, yeah. So they're very, very soft to the touch. They're brushed. As you can see, there's some cat eye buttons on the front there, um, somewhat large and I like that a lot. I like the buttons a lot. Love this pattern on here. And this has a slightly different fit than I'm used to with them. It could just be the shirts that I have, I'm not really sure. But this, this feels slightly roomier than the other shirts from the line. I'll show some B-roll footage of uh, the shirt that I have because I have this one right here, the uh, crater shirt in tan plaid. Like this one a lot too. I really like these autumn colors. These look fantastic, man. Really, really love that. This will go with a lot of stuff. You've got to check out these Crater shirts if you're looking for a great flannel shirt. They look fantastic and they feel even better. I really love these a lot. And of course, the shirts that I'm wearing are size 38, uh, which is a small, I believe. All right, next we have, oh yeah, we have the Gibson jacket. And we have those in two different colorations as well. Uh, the first one is in charcoal bullseye w uh, wool and, um, a classic charcoal color for a jacket. I love charcoal. Like I've said before, charcoal goes with everything. I, I love charcoal. Um, I will get almost anything in charcoal. This bird's eye wool looks just spectacular. It's a three button uh, 
jacket as you can see and this is the first experience that I've had with a Gibson jacket. They have a couple different jackets. Um, but yeah, here's something that's really interesting. Um, it's a three button jacket. The pins on the uh, cuffs are actually usable, which is not common for a lot of blazers or, or blazers or jackets like this. And as you can also see, there is this, uh, this little choker collar thing and you can actually stow it away. If you don't want it, you can actually put it up within your jacket to keep it there. Brilliant design. And if you want something, if it's cooler outside and you want to wear it with a little bit more of a military style look and a little bit less like a, like a blazer, you can pop up the lapels and it looks killer. Like, look at this. That looks fantastic. A lot more of a uh, military style there. Really love that. And as you can see, the, the, the choker part of the collar is right there. This jacket is spectacular. Uh, this is made of a 13 ounce, 80% wool, 20% unknown claim fibers. Again, three button jacket. I think it fits fantastic. It looks great. Patch pockets. And yeah, this, this charcoal color is fantastic. Now, Taylor Stitch sent me uh, the olive herringbone wool, which I think is even better. Um, I love this olive color. Olive is great for the fall, but this is a great uh, casual style blazer. I love the herringbone pattern, and it's made with the, set, the same uh, materials here, 13 ounce, 80% wool, 20% unknown claim fibers. Um, and it's unlined, as you can see. I have some B-roll footage of me wearing it. Now, since this is a three button design, I have the middle button uh, fastened. On a three button blazer, you always want the middle button to be buttoned and the top button is optional. The bottom button, you never want to button. Patch pockets on the outside. They have an outside pocket, which I think is very interesting, very uh, kind of casual. They have interesting pockets on the inside, which are zippered. It's very easy to pop up the collar. It just works. I really love that. As you can see, this fits on me like a glove. There's almost nothing I would change about this. The waist is perfect. I might shorten the uh, sleeves maybe a hair, but that's about it. It fits me just great. Now I didn't stow away the uh, choker part of the collar here, so you can see it underneath my lapel, but you can stow it away uh, on the inside, which is a great feature. So you can always have that available. Okay, so yeah, they call this a throat latch. <laughs> Probably a grosser version of what I called it. <laughs> there is a center back vent on the back, as you can see, uh, just one, which I think is great for a, a casual style uh, blazer. And they have a double needle threaded construction throughout. Just a fantastic, fantastic um, jacket. I really enjoy this a lot. Gibson jacket, definitely check this one out if you're looking for a casual jacket. And of course, again, for size reference, this is my normal size, which is a size 38. All right, Gibson jackets, definitely a hit. Uh, 248 for that, which you're saving about 50 bucks. That I think is a great deal for what you're getting. A great price on just a really high quality jacket. I would spend that in a second. There's already fall weddings that I have to go to. I'm already invited to. <laughs> Gibson jacket is going to be my go-to. All right, next we have uh, Fisherman sweaters. Another great, great uh, addition here in the workshop. And there's two different colorations. The first one is in Loden. And then the second one is in Heather Ash. First coloration, Loden, kind of an olive uh, moss, dark green color. And um, I think this looks fantastic. Really looks great. There's the, there's Spence Hill, looks great on him. I love this style of sweater, this fisherman style sweater, because it's so classic. It, it looks so masculine. Reminds me of maybe Ernest Hemingway or, you know, fisherman. It has a great look to it and it's so functional. As a sweater, you want something that has a lot of use. You can dress this up or dress this down. I think this is just a fantastic uh, sweater overall. It's made of 100% merino wool. Now that actually surprises me. When I felt it, I wasn't sure if it what, what it was made of. 100% merino wool, very soft. It feels like cotton to me. That makes, uh, that surprises me. Okay, so L5 gauge yarns. It also says melange yarns add amazing depth and texture. And yeah, as you can see here, uh, let me go to it real quick. These melange yarns kind of have almost like a Harris Tweed type of uh, look and texture, not quite as uh, varying as maybe Harris Tweed, but it has a little bit of uh, variation in the colors. And I think you'll be able to see that more in this Loden color. Um, yeah, and there's a ribbed neck, ribbed uh, waist and ribbed cuffs there. I think this looks just 
fantastic. I love the color. The one that I have is actually this one in Heather Ash. And if I were to recommend uh, one of these two sweaters, it would be this one. I think this Heather Ash one is the one to go, go for. I think this has the most classic look. And I also think this is the easiest one to wear. You can wear this with a lot of different clothing because of that uh, light gray color. I think it's just a fantastic sweater. I'll show some B-roll footage of me wearing this sweater. Um, this sweater fits me perfectly. It's a little bit wide in the shoulders. It's a little bit trim in the, the waist and the torso. It fits great in the arms and it falls just right in the length. I'm 6'1 and I wear a size 38 and the waist here is about perfect. I would say if it's any shorter, it would be too short on me. So if you're taller than me, I'm 6'1", then this might be a little bit short on you. So you might want to look out for that. Now this Heather Ash also has what they call a melange uh, yarn, but it's not as varied as the Loden is. As you can see, this is a lot more uniform um, and there's not as much uh, color variation. I don't think that's a big deal here. I think if you're looking at a darker color, I think it, it pops more. With this Heather Ash, I actually like it being more of this lighter gray. And so I love this. I, I absolutely love this sweater. It looks so good. It's just a masculine, masculine sweater. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It has a lot of versatility and it's very warm. I really love that merino wool as well. Just a very soft, very comfortable wool that keeps you warm, feels like cotton in a lot of ways, especially on the outside, and it's not very itchy, so that's great. The price here is $178, um, which is high, I think, for a sweater, but um, I do think it's worth it here. All right, summary real quick. The Kuyama jacket, yeah, definitely check that one out, especially if you wanna save uh, $200 off of one of their leather jackets. I think that's a great deal, it looks great. Uh, camp pant, to me, I think is more specific to people who like corduroy, who like indigo, who want something like that. It's very warm, so it's gonna be great in the winter time. Uh, probably not for me necessarily, but there are a lot of people who really like that, and I think it looks great. Little Yosemite, I'm definitely getting one of these for my son. Maybe you'll see that in a future video, hopefully so. And I love these colors. I think it's great that they're offering this for uh, younger kids. I think it's fantastic. I would say size up because you want them to wear it for more than just one season. So that's what I'm gonna do. And for the adults, the colors are the same. Really great. Definitely check out their Yosemite shirts. A lot of times they'll come out with new versions of the Yosemite shirt. It's one of the more popular shirts as I can, I, I, yeah, I can see why. Fits great, feels just fantastic, and is very warm. So yeah, I really love these Yosemite shirts a lot. Love these. The camp pant and wool are very interesting. Like I said, I love the camp pants. If you're looking for something that's casual, but is very warm, um, look out for that. Um, and of course, with it being wool, I think you're gonna have this be a lot more warm. Probably not something that I can wear a lot down here in the South, to be honest, but I think that's really cool that they have it. They look great, and the wool that they use that Taylor Stitch uses is fantastic. So if you're looking for that, I think it's a, a sure win there. The Crater shirt, yes. Check out this Crater shirt if you're looking for something that is more of a traditional style flannel. I think that these flannels are fantastic, super soft, like buttery soft. I love these colorations. Both of these look great. Just love these a lot. Gibson jacket, another one that I can really recommend if you're looking for a more casual style blazer. This is not something that you wanna to go to a funeral in. This is not something that you wanna to go to your best friend's wedding in. But if you want something that has a smart, casual look or something that kind of dresses a casual look up, this Gibson jacket is perfect. Um, of the two, I think that the one with the most application is the charcoal, just because of the coloration will go with anything and you can use that for a lot of different occasions. But this olive is fantastic, especially for fall. That's the one that I have, I love. Check out this Gibson for sure. I love, love this jacket. And the last one here is the Fisherman sweater. And I think of the bunch here in the workshop, the Fisherman sweater would be the one thing that I would recommend here. This Fisherman sweater I think is just a knockout piece. It can go with anything and you can dress it up. It's so versatile, masculine, and it fits so well and it is very, very comfortable. But if I were to suggest one thing, it would be the Heather Ash Fisherman sweater. Absolutely love what Taylor Stitch is doing. I'm a Taylor Stitch fanboy. I'll have links down below to uh, Taylor Stitch where you can find them. Uh, if you like this video, let me know. I would love to do more. Let me know down in the comments. I would love to do more of these as a supplemental type of video for my channel. So if you like it, I will definitely do more. This workshop is absolutely killer. 
everything in here is just something that I would want. Check out Taylor Stitch for sure. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews.